Breaking news. Pan-Yoruba Social Political Organization, Afeni Ferry, has said it will form a new political party ahead of the 2023 general elections. The group also revealed that a new constitution for the country must be achieved before the elections. All this were revealed on Tuesday at its annual general meeting held at the country home of its acting leader, Chief Ayo Adebanjo in Sonya Obo, Ijebudi, Ogun State. Afeni Ferry, however, did not diverge the name of the party and the time it would be unveiled. Adebanjo spoke with journalists after the meeting, which was attended by leaders and members of Afeni Ferry from all the states in Yorubaland, including Delta, Kwara, and Kogi. He said the organization was not convinced to take part in the coming election unless the constitution is revealed and the country is restructured. He said, we are going, you know, we are still going to take a decision, pardon, on whether we will take part or not. But we are not forming a political party. You know, we are forming a political party, pardon. We are not supporting anybody. Definitely, we are forming a party. I don't believe in election until the change this constitution. There is no level playing field under this fraudulent constitution. Rising from its AGM, the organization issued a communic noting the need for improved security in the country. The communic signed by its national publicity secretary, Jari Ajayi, reads, The meeting felt that one of the things that have been a great cog in the wheel of Nigeria's progress today was the rubbishing of true federalism. Afeni Ferry is convinced that restructuring of Nigeria, you know, Nigerian states, pardon, before the 2023 general election is achievable. It is achievable through the adoption of the reports of the 2014 National Conference and the 2018 Malam Herofi Committee of the APC on True Federalism with durable modifications where necessary. In recent times, we have consistently expressed concern on the situation of insecurity in Nigeria today. We have also always recommend what we consider as the way out of the unprecedented security challenges facing us. In this respect, we strongly call on the president, uh, no, the present administration under President Muhammad Buhari Padon, to ensure the introduction of state police equipped with requisite means to enhance security in the state and that of the Federation ultimately. The performance of Amotekun Security Network in the Southeast, you know, in the Southwest, pardon, in conjunction with the Nigerian police has shown clearly that all the criticism against state police are unfounded and self-serving. What is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction to the spring development? Who would like you to share it with us via the comment section according to what we've heard? Pan Yoruba Social Political Organization, Afeni Ferry, has said it will form a new political party ahead of the 2023 general elections. Now, the group also revealed that a new constitution for the country must be achieved before the elections. What is your thoughts to this? As you can see, we are still talking about the forthcoming 2023 general election. Afeni Ferry now has 
you know, informs the general public of them creating, you know, a new political party, and they've also insist on restructuring Nigeria before the elections. What is your thoughts to this? Restructure Nigeria before any election? That's only when we can, you know, join in, you know, in joining the election process. But for now, we are not interested in any election until restructuring is conducted. What is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction? Do you think with the time left now, restructuring is still possible? To have any very have said, we still have enough time to conduct this referendum, you know, this restructuring, pardon, using the 2014 CONFAB and you know, when it is being implemented the way it should be, of course, we have enough time to restructure Nigeria even before elections. We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this, but before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the institution of things in Nigeria. Owusibu, Olawali Opeyemi reacted to this and said, Ethnic politics is no longer welcome in Nigeria. It will be ideal to stick with your right to continue to fight for the interest of Yoruba race. What is your reaction to this? We've just heard what has been said. That ethnic politics is no longer welcome in Nigeria. It will be, you know, ideal to stick with your right to continue to fight for the interest of Yoruba race. We all know that Nigeria is suffering from so many things of which people believe to you know to be that Nigeria has expired, saying that we need to break up this country and find a way to solve Nigeria's problem. It is only way the country is bricked, that is referendum, that is when we can solve the problem of Nigeria because Nigeria has expired. 1999 constitution has expired, tribalism has killed the country, religion has killed the country, nepotism has killed the you know, country, foreignization has killed the country, votes don't count, electoral bill is being killed, the NASS is not making any progress to fix the country, they only make laws to perpetrate, you know, to penetrate, pardon, themselves in power. CBN has destroyed the economy. APC has borrowed to the point of killing and selling Nigeria to repay debt. Northerners, who themselves are jihadists, are now carrying you know, their crime because of insecurity. They have amended the electoral bill to penetrate themselves in office, and the masses cannot do anything about it. Candidates can no longer be opposed by voters. Candidates can no longer be opposed by voters. They have taken powers from the voters. That is what has been said by Green Man. We've had different reactions from different people. We'd like you also to let us know your thoughts to this. Don't forget that. I find it very to form new political party and they've also insist on restructuring before elections. Still talking about the 2023 presidency. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on other news. Bye for now.